Recording started. What up, everyone? It's your boy Jerome Parker, aka Master Shake. And today, finally upgrading the Discord Twitter bot using the upgraded version of Discord JS and uh, the Twitter V2 API. So uh, I know that since Twitter has updated its stuff, that the bot has broke. A lot of you all have been blowing me up, and I finally got around to doing it. So this is going to be real quick. If you um if you have followed the old code, we're only making a couple updates to make it compliant. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you are not a patron on Patreon, please consider being one. Not only do you help fund coding classes for youth here in the Louisville, Kentucky area, but you also get behind the scenes uh, videos and insights into this code life brand that i have um and of course this video is being recorded on the j comp solution screen recorder app uh j comp computer solutions is my company that i own and you can go to recorder at and use screen, screen recorder pro for yourself all right so first thing we're going to do we got the discord twitter by if you do not have the source code, I'll put a link to the GitHub in the description. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the package.json, and then we're going to change our dependencies. We're going to uh, upgrade Discord JS to use 13.8.1. We're going to get rid of the Twit dependency and replace it with a Twitter v2 dependency, and then we'll keep .env the same. So then we'll head over to main.js. And uh, we switched some things around. So, you know, got rid of the twit, uh, require twit and use Twitter v2. And then Discord, now you have to give intents when you um, when you start a uh, Twitter client. So we use intent 2048. Uh, when we initialize the Twitter, we're only going to use the bearer token. So I went ahead and commented out all the consumer key and all that good stuff made a function called um, send message and what this is going to do is this going to handle the it's going to handle sending the messages and I, I, honestly if you've seen the o code i just i just took the function out and put it into a uh into a into a method um we grab the url from the tweet get the tweet id and send it out on the discord and then i have a listener method called listen forever which takes the stream factory, which is going to be the uh, Twitter stream, and it's going to take a data consumer, which is a, a callback function that we give to it. So uh, for all the data in the factory, we're going to call the, the callback. And then if it's been closed, then we reconnect. Uh, and that's essentially it. We also have a function called setup, and it's going to do all of the uh, setup code for, for Twitter. So you see we have these endpoint parameters, and it's basically saying that when we get the tweet object back, we want it to show the author ID, the conversation ID, um, the reference tweets, and any media URL fields. I really just, for this, I'm just going to grab the ID of the tweet, but it's showing you that, you know, with uh, with Twitter rules and stuff, you can... Um, tell it what you want to grab back. So you see, we make a post to tweet search stream rules. So with the new Twitter API, before you can get a stream, you have to give it a set of rules that is going to return in that stream. So we only want uh, uh, tweets that come from whatever username you give it. So in this case, I'm going to have it come all tweets from Jerome Parker. Once we get those rules, then we can call the uh, the stream tweet search stream endpoint, pass in our endpoint parameters, and then um, and then we're calling all this in the listen forever function. Then we pass in the data callback. So when we get the data, we're gonna pass in, we're gonna send a message to the client. Finally, we log in using Discord. And then when the Discord client is ready, we call our setup. And uh, that's pretty much it. So two things. You have to be running node uh, 16, NPM 7, 7 for this to work. Otherwise, it's going to crash. 
let's head over cd programs we're gonna go uh discord twitter bot i'm gonna go ahead and open up discord da, 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 da. let's go to twitter all right let's run it node main.js hold on MVMU 16. No. There we go. So I'm using MVM. Make sure you use version 16. See, we've got set up Twitter. I've already created that rule, so it's going to say dupl duplicate rule, but that's fine. So let's head over to Twitter. is everyone doing today we're gonna send this tweet boom let's hop over to discord and we're gonna see here in a second boom pop how's everyone doing today and the added benefit is that it's not going to show replies and retweets like how the old version was doing. And that's it. We we out here. It's simple. So um, if you all have not been over to the repo, it is um, it is over here. You know, here on the Discord Twitter bot. You can see everything is updated. And uh, yeah, please, please feel free to use it, fork it. If you want to add any functionality, please make a pull request. And I appreciate every one of you who have been using this throughout the uh, throughout the last couple of years. Um, thank you, everyone. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Holla.